Hi, this is Andrew with Baker's Gas and Welding, and uh, back here again today to check out our new Power MIG 260 from Lincoln Electric. Just came in, um, brand new machine, hard to get. We ordered one when they threw out the promo saying they were going to come out with these. We ordered it, came in, perfect. The reps can't even get their hands on these, so they're they're a hot item right now. But I unboxed it. It comes in a uh, larger box, bolted to a pallet. Uh, pretty well packaged. It's a very heavy unit, so you have to be careful on loading, loading it. Um, but let's power, I powered it on here. Let's turn it on and check it out, the new screen. So you can see on this machine, it looks very similar to the 210 MP. Um, same screen technology, it's a seven inch LCD screen, full color, it's pretty cool. We'll fire it up. You can see they added their logo there. Very cool. Back to your home screen. So it kind of it sets up the same way as the 210 MP, similar uh, screen function, similar buttons, home button. Um, if you want to just go over the little features that it has on the side here, MIG gun, whip holder. Up top, we have what looks to be a cup holder, maybe a pen holder, and then your contact tip, uh, nozzle, diffuser, a little storage area. So on the side here, we have the door. Different style uh, latch this time. Pretty cool though, very nice, very smooth, easy to open. Uh, and this is how it came right from factory. Uh, the main gun comes inside wrapped up. It's a new Magnum uh, with the new Lincoln consumables, as you can see, with their quick twist tips. I'll take them. I can take that apart here in a minute user manual, um, drive roll system, and on the top here you can see it has the 260 Power Make logo with all your settings or potential settings, what you want to run if you're not running a synergic method. So very cool, very nice, well packaged. It looks similar to a 350 MP, but it's uh, narrower and shorter. Um, I wouldn't say it's lighter than a 350 MP, but it it's definitely a smaller package. So let's shut this back down. Another feature on the back here, which is pretty cool, comes in your ground, which is your standard ground. Comes on all your Lincoln equipment. Pretty nice ground clamp and maybe a 10 foot piece of cable already attached in the unit. So on the back, you have your power link. So input supply connection. If you look at the diagram, we're matched up. We're at 230. That's what we're plugged into. But you can, it gives you the diagram on how to change your copper pieces to match what power input you're going to put to this. Um, so that's pretty nice. It's all clear cut. Here's your code number, serial number, part number, um, and the order number it was processed on. So if you have to do any warranty claims or parts for the unit, you can reference that. This this uh, machine has a special feature that I haven't seen before, is this new style cylinder cart. So it tilts down, so you can roll your cylinder across this lip, and when it hits here, it locks it in place. So it's, it's actually really pretty smooth, it's pretty cool. Easier to use instead of manhandling that cylinder, you can just now tilt that table. So that's pretty neat, you can hear the fan running. So let's spin it back around here. Let's see. Features around the front. So on the bottom side, you got 115 volt, 15 amp plug. Two of them, pretty typical for your power mix. Um, your amp and L connection for your spool gun or your push pull gun, and then your trigger wire hookup. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Gas connection in the front on-off switch right here. Ground cable goes in the front. Pretty standard stuff for Lincoln Electric. Uh, very cool unit though. I, I really like the screen. It's uh, very easy to read, easy to see. Same warranty as usual. Three-year warranty uh, and then a five-year optional warranty that you can purchase. 
let's uh, take a look through all the screen settings and run through those. All right, so now we've uh, got the machine on. We saw it fire up. Gives you comes to this uh, home screen. Well, you can always hit the home button. It'll take you right back home. So if you get off somewhere and you, you get into that screen, you can hit select process home button. It'll come back to this. You can pick your process. So what we got here is we got manual, which is your, uh, you can choose the settings. They're non-synergic. You got MIG. Flux core, self shield, flux core gas shield, spool gun hookup, push pull setup, load, which is your saved uh, parameters and stuff that you, if you want to save those, and I'll show you how to do that, and then configurations. So this is what kind of threw me on this machine, and I'm not calling it out. It's not a, I'm not saying it's a flaw, but your select switch is on the right side. Your back button is on the left side and your home button is in the middle. So if you want to go there, you can just go back and it'll go right back to where you chose it. I was trying to use this to select, doesn't work. This one has to be selected. Just kind of threw me off as far as the configuration goes, but it's okay. I'm not particular. So I'm going to select MIG. First thing's up, it's going to say, what are you running? Steel or stainless steel? We're going to go select steel. What size wire goes up to 045, 025, 030, 035, 045. We're going to go 045. Argon CO2 mix or straight CO2. We'll do an argon CO2 mix. 18 gauge. As you can see, as you scroll, toggle through them, the gauge size gets bigger. The size gets bigger and your, it goes up to half inch. We're going to, let's just say we're well nine quarter inch. Polarity. Positive polarity as usual. And then here's where it's gonna give you. So just like the 210 MP, it gave you a recommended settings for quarter inch uh, argon CO2 with 045. So from there you can change them. But as you see, they're not in the green. So they give you a green setting. If you change your wire wire feed, it changes your voltage. So it's a synergic function. So it's changing wire feed with voltage, but you can just adjust your voltage up or down. Um, obviously we're not in the green, there we are in the green. So kind of a cool thing, you can see it. It's ready to it's ready to weld as it sits right now. So if I had the gun hooked up, everything going, it'd be ready to weld. But then you can see these two. So select process, we can go back and select a different process, or we can go into weld settings. Let's go into weld settings, and this button, it, like I said before, we just press in, brings up this. So. We can change material thickness in weld settings. Trigger. We can either hold trigger or double tap trigger, trigger whatever we want to do. Um, so it's kind of like a trigger lock function. Spot time, if we select that, how many seconds of spot time you want. Go back, run in, click on that how many inches a minute of run-in you want. And these are kind of a, uh, different fine-tuned things. Most people don't use these, so that's why they're all off, but some people like them, so they put, them, put this function on there, and it's actually really easy to access and see what you're trying to do. Um, burn back, how many seconds, or how many, 0.25 seconds max. And then save. So I clicked on this, wondering what, what could this be? Click on it. So if you have a specific set of parameters and that kind of thing you want to put in there, you would just hold the save and it saves this under your uh, load section. So if we go home, hit home again, we go down there, here, select memory one. It was just the one that we just saved. So load and it brings it right back up. So if we love a setting, and we, we just want to go back and you have multiple users on this machine and you like a setting, you can go right into weld settings, go right to save, hit it, it says hold to save, hold it to save, it takes, boom, you're good to go. So it saved your setting. So you're under memory one and then say welder number two on afternoon shift comes in, he's on memory two, so he goes to two. So if you guys are welding on different parameters, you particularly like one. Neat function of this machine, really cool. Um, 
And like I said before, you go through all your flux core, flux core gas, spool gun, push pull gun. Let's just select push pull. So interesting, they give you a Magnum Pro aluminum, Magnum Pro pistol, and a Magnum Pro Cougar or custom gun. We're just gonna go Magnum Pro AL. So it's allowing you to hook up multiple push pull systems that they make. 4,000 series aluminum or 5,000 series aluminum. Let's go for 4,000, 435 or 364. So we'll go 364s. And then how thick of aluminum? 10 gauge all the way up to 3.8s. So let's pick on 3.8s. Positive polarity. Calibrate. We'll just do auto calibrate. Hope. Oh, well, we don't have the trigger hooked up. So there you go. So it's gonna it's gonna sync the drive rolls in here with the drive rolls in the gun, if that makes sense. That's what they're trying to say is the uh, calibration period. We'll go back since I don't have hooked up. Here. All right, folks, thanks for watching my video, and this is one of two videos, so the next video we're gonna set it up to weld with it. Um, let me know what you guys want me to run on it. I can probably get spool gun, push pull gun, if you guys wanna see that, or just the regular big gun it came with. Let me know, uh, put some comments below, and there's a, uh, promo code that I want to throw out there for this if you buy it off bakersgas.com it's Lincoln 65 so you're gonna get a free red white and blue beanie uh, roll cage gloves and $65 off this unit um, thanks again for watching stay tuned